wise man once said, to forget how to dig the soil and the earth is to forget ourselves. Well, maybe some have, but a few of us still know. You've got to be willing to put in the time, make the sacrifices, and the hard choices. The job's got its perks, don't get me wrong. The sweet smell of the morning dew. How's it going, everybody? Just trying to get the game here started. I don't know what's going on with it now. Yeah, it's going slowly now. How was everybody's weekend? We had a wedding we went to yesterday, so that was nice. Got out of the house for first time in a long while. Let's just tab over to Buncher here. Where is it at? Too many vehicles. There's our buncher. Um, we got quite a few trees down. We might want to process some of these, but I think we're going to get a few more down. And then we'll uh, try and get some of this processed up. Let's try and see what we can get done here today. Why is it not capturing the game? Hang on. We did some settings that we changed and now for some reason it's not picture picking up the game here. All right, let's see if we can get the, something done here. Let me know if anything needs to be adjusted as far as sounds because we did try to work with our new microphone and still kind of working out some of the sounds as far as game sound volume and my volume. I think we'll get these few trees to the left here and then we'll go around the other side of this and try to get the, the area over to the right. And of course my machine's backwards.
Looks like that tree disappeared. We need to get this one over here. Having a hard time seeing my tracks. Right. Hey, what's going on, Brian? Watching a little bit of your American Truck Simulator earlier today. Looks like you're having fun in Montana. Hang on one quick second. I gotta. I'm still trying to work with this <clears throat> um, new microphone. It's got two different settings one setting I hear, one setting you guys hear. And so if I have it on the stream setting so I could hear what, the sh what you guys hear. And I'm hearing double. So I had to turn it back off to that. That wasn't even gonna work for me. I'm doing good. We went to a wedding on Saturday, so that was fun. Got a first wedding or anything we went to in probably about two or three years now. So yeah, it was pretty good. But other than that, just kinda been around, hanging around the house here, working on my microphone thing and cut, trying to get some trees cut down now, finally. It's been a while since we did any logging here. Let's find where the heck I'm at here now. Um, yeah, it's been a while since we did any logging. Um, I had to do a little bit on last Friday and I just really wasn't feeling it. The microphone wasn't didn't sound right to me and <clears throat> but we're trying to get her back together here. You, know, sir, you were in the Kenworth uh, Kenworth 100. Yeah, those are cab over ones, right? The truck. Yeah, I used, to, I used to love driving them ones. Wow, since I've done that. I was supposed to try to do some ATS this weekend, but um, a little bit of time I had yesterday, I went and, uh, let's see if I can get this tree picked up here. I went and I was back in Michigan and I got all the rest of the, well, I didn't get all of them, but I got uh, probably about six trailers that were out there in the on the maps picked up and sold, so that was good. Got some extra money. And then I think I did one, I did one uh, contest. It was just basically taking an oil drum to somewhere, because I was already over in that area anyway, so I figured, well, maybe I'll see if I try and do this contest. So I'm, I think I'm at 98% now in Michigan. I wasn't really going to care about the contest because I really don't like them, but I figured I'd try to... This tree's stuck in us. Can't get it off. Um, I figured while I was in the area, I might as well do that contest since it wasn't too terrible. 
I figured I got, I got all the rest of the trailers picked up or that I, that I could find. So I, got, I think I'm to, back up to like 100 and... What the hell did that happen there? About 150,000 cash that I have saved up. Oh yeah, I've done all the... Mich all the all the logins are all done. Everything's done in Michigan except for the couple um, couple of uh, what do you call it uh, contests. So yeah, the logging was all part of some of the missions that you had to do, anyways. I hate this little area because it's so dark right now. It's so, even when they get the light on in the truck, or the cab of this thing, it's so dark out here. I mean, I think it's because the trees are blocking all the, all the sun here. Yeah, the, I, I think I did the logging early on in Michigan there. Like I said, I don't mind doing the long logs, it's the short logs that I can't stand. Or the medium logs, just because they're so. Um, crap! I did both of them. Um, it's so unstable. The truck is always unstable, even with the truck or pick a thing in. You, would, I would go to pick. I'm not sure what that means. up the logging machine in Maine. Oh crap, I didn't even know there was one. Um, I can't remember if I've been in Maine. I was just looking at it yesterday before starting the logging. I'd have to, I'll have to check when I get next time I go in there if I've been in Maine at all. I know I was looking at it last yesterday because I, you know, I seen that I was at like 90% of Michigan there, but um, looks like I have like 40% done in Alaska, and then Wisconsin's like at 80 some percent, which I don't get because they have all the missions done. I just don't have all the objectives done. You have the Arm ATS Forester there. For free. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll definitely have to check it out. I think I bought. What did I buy? We bought. What? How did that get cut? I didn't even touch that one. Um, we bought. Something. One of the streams back. It was the. I want to say it wasn't it wasn't a Tatra. It was a six six wheel vehicle, and we used that to do the medium logs, and it seemed to help pretty good. Or it was like eight wheels on the thing. That thing helped out pretty good, but um, we haven't used it yet since since we didn't have no more logging to do. That was a cool vehicle. I just can't remember what the hell that name was on it. It's gonna be one of these days today. Look at this. Every tree is gonna. Just fall all over the place here. It's like it's just so dark up here. Look at how do we change the time in this? I think it's. We had a, a different. Maybe we can change the, the time faster. Get this time change back to daylight or something. So I'm having a difficult time already here. Look at that. I barely touched the thing. Uh, the Aslan trailer mod that 
have semi logging trailers. Oh, cool. And so it was cheaper to buy it. Will be very helpful in hard mode. Oh, okay, cool. How's your hard mode been going? I haven't seen you um, doing it. I'm guessing you've probably been pretty busy though with uh, work. Watching um, one of my other friends, she's been doing hard mode on it too. She, like, she just started doing Wisconsin now. It's kind of like everything I just got done doing. Yeah, I remember you, you saying that you got to restart again. I'm like, oh, dude, you're crazy. Like I said, I mean, I worked hard to get to where I am so far on, on there. I'm like, I would be mad as hell if I had to restart. All right, let's change our time back since we're getting daylight now. Now it's going to start raining in it. I gotta look at this map again because we're we got trees falling all over the place over here. Um, I'm thinking about going around the other side and getting some over there because this is just looking good here. We'll get over on the other side and then we'll have our bunch are out of the way here once we start processing too. Yeah, we, we, I still gotta do some adjusting with this setup here because we got way too many things hooked up. I mean, this microphone and the arm, everything's like kind of like not in the greatest of spots. Hopefully my wife finds a computer desk to put upstairs and then I can take the other desk and bring it in here and hook all this stuff up to a desk instead of on the wheel stand because we're just getting too cluttered here. So let's see, we want to get probably these trees to the left and right of us here. Let's get them over here. I just, I wasn't normally going to get a desk and this thing's just so like, we're getting too many things hooked up together on this. Let's turn it back on. Gotta get these other ones here, otherwise we're gonna have a problem. We'll get done getting processing. Just try not to lose too many more of them today. For some reason, they're not wanting to be picked up very easily once we do lose them. Let's pack these out and get them set down somehow. I'm going to be going opposite the other way with the mother trees over there, but that's alright. We'll process both these areas separately. I'm gonna move it over here to the right and then we have two separate little Piles over here, hopefully. So, did any, any of you guys do anything exciting over the weekend? this one Let's 
proves that we're a little rusty in our tree cutting still. And I think it's just because we're too bunched up with all this stuff in our wheel stand here. I don't mind the sound of the rain in, in this game. Kind of sounds pretty realistic, that's for sure. As long as it doesn't rain the whole entire stream. Here. get any of these trees to stop falling all over the place here. I mean, we're rusty, but not that rusty. I'll try and pick this one up, but picked up it's probably just gonna fly all over like the rest of these have been. And I don't get it because this is FDR's map so we shouldn't have as many problems like this. today we might have to get the we might have to get the wood chipper out and get this cleaned up because otherwise we're just gonna be running over all these trees the whole damn time. It's not like we're gonna lose too much money because we have we should be able to have to get an area to mix to sell our wood chips here so getting frustrating because like, everything's falling all over the place on us today.
get some fuel here in a little bit anyways on this machine. Keep this so much straight today. I was going to have some time to do um, some American Truck Simulator this weekend, and then I just totally ran out of time. I mean, I probably could have done it yesterday, but I only had like an hour that I can go on here for while uh, the wife was out running around. And I ended up doing the um, snow runner trying to get them trailers picked up in Michigan so I can get some extra money. I didn't think I would mind was really stream that because it's just picking up trailers so although I did do that one objective though. So we just got to play a little bit yesterday. I was kinda tired from our wedding that we went to. We didn't stay terribly long but it was still later than we normally stay out. We were both exhausted by the time we got back home. Okay, I think we're gonna jump in our processor. Or not the processor. Um, our wood chipper here. Let's get this cleaned up because I can't stand driving around all these trees that are low to the ground. this one.
blade pointing down so that we can tree with that one. Trying to get some of these that landed all over the place. down too much, then it just wants to get stuck in it. So you am going to bring it up and then tilt it. take our um, processor over that way. Jump out, there we are. Guess we can get the processor over that way. And we'll get a few more cut down and we will Try to get some processed here. This way we have a little bit more room to see where the tree, actual end of the tree is. So we can always turn a little bit this way, but at least this way we're close to where we need to be. All right, let's shut this one down and we'll get back in our puncher here. Get some more trees cut and then we'll go from there. I think we're going to need some fuel pretty soon. Right, let's see where we're at here. I think we'll get these couple over here. And then we'll start working again towards our right. Let me start cameraing a little straight. There we go. I 
seats and fuel in here soon, so we'll jump across the street there and get our fuel truck out. say that for once we have one that actually got the stump all the way right at the ground there but it seemed to not want to grab the stump right at the ground anymore ever since we got the farm some 22 it doesn't unless I'm doing something wrong so like that one got it but we used to never leave stumps around when we were cutting before for some reason we were just having a hard time getting this puncher all the way at the ground here so we don't leave that stump on there. We got that one. Maybe I'm just putting it at the wrong end. I mean, it looks like I'm putting it right towards the ground. It might be just slightly up or something. We got like four or five in here already. I'm gonna just drive them right in between these two here. Set them in this pile. It seems like um, this puncher head is like tilting really slow at this part right here. Whereas this moving a lot faster. And I don't know if I can go and change that without going out of the game and into the main settings. Pretty sure that's where I'd have to go because I think I changed it. I thought I was, I was trying to slow down this part right here. Maybe I slowed down the wrong one. But when you go into the games, like the settings in the beginning of the game before you enter the game, that's where you can change like your joystick sensitivities and stuff like that. So we would have to go all the way out, but then I gotta remember which one it is, whether it's like the x-axis, the y-axis, and then you're trying to figure out which joystick it is, because it doesn't list it. It just says the name of it, but they're both the same name, both joysticks, so you don't know which joystick you're adjusting. That one, I think so. Now we're gonna set this one down before we before we drop it again. I should have used that little wood chipper thing to push some of these piles a little better straight. Seems like that one's a little slow. It's on the right joystick too. And once we get done doing a few trees, we'll, we'll definitely go and go into it real quick. See if we can adjust it. I think if I had it the same as the other joystick with the twist of the puncher head. It would be fine, but this seems a little slow. No, I think we lost that one. Just barely sitting there on the ground. See if I can try to grab it now. Now, but now it's going to fall as soon as I get close to it. Right, we need another pile set up here somewhere.
Nothing too many in that one first pile we got set up over here. Kind of relaxing with this rain going on in here. The thunder, a little bit of thunder going on. Kind of like it. Try and see if we can pick that one up. That's a pretty decent sized tree. I don't want to lose it. We were having the same problem as we did at the other. And the, my problem is I don't I think there's an update for this map. But I didn't want to update it because I haven't been able to get a clear answer whether if we update it if it's gonna revert the map to brand new versus what we already have cut down and, and if it goes back to brand new then we lose all, all the trees that we have cut down and all the progress we did on this map. I don't want to do that. This tree's going to be a bugger here. Let's see if I can just push it a little bit outwards. It's like they want to just keep popping the trees all over the place, see? Grab it. Okay. We're gonna set this one down. It's a troublemaker tree here. here. We're, be getting, we're getting close to getting this area cleaned out and once we get this cleaned out we can get some uh, cell points set up. And once we get the cell points set up then I think we're going to move to a different area and start cutting. And then at least we'll have somewhere to drive our wood chips to, and we gotta have something set up for the the field that we planted, which I think I believe is barley. We need to we should go check on that before we end here today. See how far our progress the, the barley's doing. I don't even know how how to harvest it. I don't know if it's the same process as it is the weed and that kind of where you got to get a harvester and then pick up the stuff in the middle of the field once it harvests it. I don't know. We'll have to look into that. Or we'll, uh, we'll have to get our chat here to help us out. What we need to do to get our barley picked up. I do want to kind of try to do a little bit of farming while we're doing this. We'll be farming soon in, in SnowRunner, huh? Really? What uh, what will we be able to do in it? Is that coming with uh, Season 9 or whatever? Is it Season 9? Phase 8? Okay. Oh, that's right, because Tennessee was 7, right? 
be actually pretty cool just to try it out. It'll be interesting, you know, interesting, I guess, of what what kind of farming you're gonna be doing too, though. Like I love some of them loads where you gotta pick up big, huge pieces of equipment. It will be in the last phase before season three. So what season? I thought we were in. So they got what is it? Seasons, and then you got phases. Is that what it is? Because I mean, I could have swore we were the last one I bought was se season seven. I know we're getting some tractor. So we're in, we're in season, what season did you say it was? Um, oh, so we're, so what are, what season are we in? We're in season two of SnowRunner? You have one, season passes one and two. And is there, is there more seasons other than what I have already? I can't. Remember. I thought. <clears throat> I thought I only bought season one and two, but then I bought Premiere, which I didn't know had all the rest of the stuff. But so it's, it's, <clears throat> we're only in season two, and then season three is going to have phases, diff different phases. Is that what you're saying? We actually have the seasons too. <clears throat> and then is there more than what I have already? Like as far as seasons? Is there already more that's been released? Yeah, I think we're going to go into the settings because this is just... My problem is... I have both already, so that's everything that I have is everything that's out right now. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's it, it's getting a little confusing with that because I'm not sure. The like guy, one, I'm not sure what I bought because I thought I was buying one thing and then buying something totally different. And then for two, I mean, you're saying seasons versus phases. That's a little confusing for me. How does how does the game sound in here right now, Brian? Is the game sounds all right, or is it too low or too high? And then as compared to like the microphone, I'm just curious if, you, if something needs to be turned up. It'd be nice if I could turn it up while you're here this way. I know. That Getting sound advice here. Sounds okay to you? Does it sound like it's a little low though at all? Because just looking at my settings for the microphone, the microphone's a little bit higher than that for the stream. To add more voice would be good. Alright, let's try this. Hang on. So this is what's good about this. Well, I'm actually liking about the mic so far, but I just we're working on it still is it has its own software and the software has settings for the stream and settings for my headphones. Now the, now the microphone in my headphones, I have to have turned down because it is an echo in my, in my thing there. So I actually, actually turn them off my, my headphones and then just turn it up in Let's see if I turn it off. Well, let's see. Yeah, no, it'd be off for my microphone, but I can still hear the game. So let's see how that sounds when I get back here in the game part, which is another area. I was messing around in SnowRunner and putting it in windowed mode because when I'm in window mode and I click out of the game to change the setting in the microphone, it doesn't shut the game sounds off so I can actually see or I can hear what it's changing in, in my headphones as far as for the stream. But I forgot to do that in 
farming simulator, so we're in full screen mode, and that's what's causing some issues here. I can't, if I click out of, so I, I just noticed that in other people's streams, like when they're clicking out and they're changing something on some other setting or whatever, or whether it be going into a browser or something like that, you don't lose the game sounds, but with mine, you're losing the game sounds because every time I alt-tab out, um, I see see I hear you very well now so is now is it better with uh, what, I, what I changed I moved it up a little bit for the, the microphone itself compared to the, the game here I'm trying to like so and then the other cool thing about the software is you can listen to so I can listen in two different ways I can listen to just my monitor mix so what stuff I hear and so I can take things off of what I hear versus what you hear so if I want all right you said yeah it sounds good all right good um so what, it, what it's called it's called a wave it's Elgato wave 3 microphone and it has a wave technology so it's basically like you set up all the sounds in the in the microphone properties and then it only sends one signal to the streaming software so before I used to have like all kinds of different audio mixers for one for the game one for music one for discord and you change the levels in the streaming software versus the microphone now with this one I can change, I set up all them sounds through the microphone and they have different sliders for each of them. One's for the game, one's for if you want to have Discord in here, music and stuff like that. And then I, I adjust them in the software, not in the in the streaming software. And, but when I tab out of the game, I lose the game sound. So I'm like, well, how am I supposed to hear what I'm changing if I can't hear it once I tab out of the game? So it seems like it's working better, but it, it, that part only works good when you're in, it only works good when it's in um, windowed mode, not in full screen mode on the game, because then I can tab out of the game and I can listen to, I can still, I can adjust the sound, but then still not lose the sound, like I don't lose all the game sounds while I'm trying to adjust it. And I can listen to it in two, it, two different ways. Like I can listen to it how I want to hear it in my headphones versus what you hear it in the stream. So if I want to listen to music, I could actually listen to music in my headphones and, and you guys can't hear it. And it doesn't send it to Twitch or it doesn't send it to the stream at all. Or I can listen to, I can listen through my headphones as if you guys were, whatever you guys are hearing. But the only way I can do that is by having the game in windowed mode so that I can actually adjust things while I'm still in the game part. Let's see if I can get this tree picked up here. I knew it was going to shoot off on us. Of course, it's going to fly right on top of our pile. Let's see if we can get this one picked up. So I was just trying to get some of that worked out. I had a friend, our friend Ricky. Ricky was helping us out a little on Saturday. Um, and our, one of our good friends, uh, Lukey, was helping us out too. He was helping me with some stuff with Twitch and trying to get a couple things set up. I, I really wanted to get um, rules and stuff set up on Twitch, my Twitch page, and I didn't manage to do that. and. Then we were looking into the tips page and I didn't end up setting that up because I don't want there's some things to adjust on on that with um, regards of if someone wanting to leave a tip um, I saw some videos where they, they actually suggest that you start a gaming or not a gaming a business profile on PayPal so that you can set it up through like a business account because of the fact that if you don't when you if somebody wants to tip you 
on the receipt it tells your real name and most people don't want to have that you know they don't want to have their real name in there um, I don't particularly care as much too much but you know I've seen some bad things with people that start doxing people giving out the real information and stuff and it's mainly for one of my friends that was a little bit more he's more of a he's got a lot, a lot bigger following he's actually a, a partner of twitch and this and that and you know, he had some incidents but i don't want to have that problem at all let's just get our machine back on see our machine's so quiet in my my ears and i get the game sounds all the way up in here So that's why I didn't set up, I haven't set up any kind of tip speed. Um, I mean, if I were to, if I were to set up anything like that, the only thing I would want to use it for is to buy different things for the stream. Like, I would like to get a, a stream deck possibly. I think that would help out, but like again, we got so many things set up on the stupid wheel stand. Like I'll send a, I'll put a picture up in Discord before I, leave tonight of all this stuff that's hooked up on this thing right now and it's just getting it's almost like overloaded right now so i want to get a desk and i have a desk upstairs that we're using for our regular computer at the house but the wife really needs a desk because of she's working from home still and, and it's starting to bother her like her arms are like or not her arms but are like her hands are going numb because she's like sitting on the couch doing her, her work on the computer and it's just not good so she said if she found a desk we would take the new desk that she could use for the computer room and take that other desk that's upstairs and i can i'll take it and use it as desk for, for this computer which i then might move upstairs instead of down in the basement here i mean i'll hate to lose my 70 inch TV that I'm playing the game on but I can still buy a decent sized TV that will um, look just as good we actually do have another TV in the house that we don't really use it's actually got our security cameras on um, that I could probably play the game on and on that for a while until until I got a better TV and then the other, I still got this second monitor, I mean, that we use to put all the other stuff on, uh, streaming software and everything's on there. So we're trying to work on some, but I, like, I was trying to look for a desk, she wanted like a $700 desk, and I'm like, dude, this, that's way too much. So she finally found one on Marketplace, and it's a little bit cheaper, she said she's going to try and look at it this week because I guess it's nearby and then it's a matter of probably have to rent something to pick it up because it's pretty it's like an l-shaped desk and it's got like a it's got like a cabinets or I don't know something on the top where you can like store stuff right, let's get this tree right over here I'll open up some area here So then we can at least I'll get all the joysticks hooked up to the desk instead of on the side of my chair. And then, which is kind of annoying too, because when I want to try and play American Truck Simulator, the joystick is, is mounted to a piece of wood that's underneath the armrest of the chairs. And it hits the joystick for, or the shifter knob for my American Truck Simulator. So it would be nice to have it actually mounted to the desk. And I'd be a little bit more out of my way. I can push the chair in all the way closer and all that good stuff. Let's see. I think I'm going to start another little pile here. Let's see if we want to put it that way or the other way here. Let's see if we got room on this side. I guess we could probably set it this way. Yeah, I mean, I, 
I was fine using just this wheel stand for the longest time. I've been, ever, ever since I've had any kind of games in the last two years that I've been playing, I, I've been using this wheel stand, but as we keep adding more and more to it, it's just getting, I think it's just getting just a little too, too much. And I was thinking about a desk, and I'm like, well, I'll just use the desk that's upstairs. I mean, it's like a little corner desk. There'd be plenty of room for to hook everything we need up on there, and then maybe I might consider getting a camera then. Right now, if even if I were to get a camera, it would be, it would probably start shaking a lot because the only place we could hook it up to is probably the top of our second monitor, which then is not only probably pretty close to where we're, too close to where we're at, you know, it'd be right up on top of me, the camera, um, the, it would probably shake as I'm using, you know, the joysticks or the steering wheel because everything's all hooked up to the wheel stand, which isn't like, it's not like unstable, but it's just, it's gotten heavy with all this stuff on here. And if I sold the wheel stand, then... Might have some money for like the stream deck thing. So you don't have a camera, but I will. I would. I will butt uh, another one. I don't like it. Like it, the image. So I'm not really sure what you're saying there, bud. Usually I can decipher because that's the. When I type, sometimes I use when I when I'm on in chat and somebody else's stream, like I'm <laughs> I'm using the voice button on my phone or my tablet to type, and sometimes it doesn't type everything I want. But and then I hit enter before I actually look at it. So um, I thought you you did have a camera, and I know the cameras aren't that expensive. Like I looked at the Micro Center, and they were like I could have swore even a 1080p camera was like 20 or 30 bucks. You know, it's not that like it's that expensive. I just didn't know if I really wanted a on camera and then pretty much every time that I'm streaming right now I'm in my work clothes so it's like fluorescent yellow shirt or whatever you call it a greenish type color and I'm like that ain't gonna look good so that means I'm gonna have to wear a different shirt if I had a camera on because no, one, no one's gonna see this unless you I mean I guess it would look like I'm more proper attire for working in the logging industry, they gotta wear all the PPE stuff, personal protection equipment, but I'm pretty much ready to go to work, you know, once I get done here, I just put my lunch in the lunch box there, and I don't really have to do much, I already brush my teeth and all that stuff, but I don't know if that would look good on camera though. Oh, we did just get a haircut on Saturday, so my hair is looking really nice. Yeah, because I think if I got anything more than a 1080p, I mean, it's probably, I don't know, I don't know about a 4K and all that. I mean, I guess if you're not streaming in 4K, it's not going to really be worth it to buy a 4K camera. I don't know. But even still, I don't think they're that expensive either. I've not really looked them up lately, but... If the 1080p cameras are only like 20 bucks, I mean, I can't imagine the 4K cameras are terribly more expensive than that. You have a tr you have a my truck shifter now, so yeah, I'd put the video I'd put the video on uh, YouTube. Oh, so you're using, uh, you have a shifter now? What shifter do you got? So I'm using the Thrustmaster, we call it the THAA or something like that. And I put all my, my videos on YouTube too. Although I don't know how, I need to figure out how to promote that channel better. You have your regular shifter, oh, the G920, okay, yep, yeah, I've seen them before. The only reason why I didn't buy any of the 
like that shifter there is the one streamer that I was watching at the time before I was building my computer and everything. He had it and he had so many issues with it. Um, and then he moved to all to Thrustmaster and then I ended up just sticking with Thrustmaster. I really liked the style of them. And as long as I've had it, I haven't had any problems with it. I mean, I had problems with my joysticks, but that's because I spilled some pop on it. I had to take it all apart and get all the pop out of the buttons because they were all sticking. Um, but I have the truck split shifter to toggle high and low. Yeah, I know. And that, yeah, I don't have that on my shifter. It would be nice. I do have a button that I can go from high to low that I programmed either on the steering wheel or I can't remember if it was on the steering wheel or if I just programmed it on something else. But I can do high and low, but I normally just go, you know, 18 speed or 10 speed on my shifter. Go off here. We're gonna actually have to run upstairs in a few minutes and turn our coffee on. I woke up a little early again today and coffee usually starts at like 8.50 and I think I started at 8.30 so it actually is turning off it's probably already off already now but I'd like to I gotta hit it one more time to turn it back on otherwise it won't be hot for me to go to work here it's that tree let's see if we get it off us here we go Yeah, it was nice to get all them trailers picked up in uh, Michigan. I had like probably about seven trailers out on Island Lake. And they were the long semi trailers. And then they had a bunch of fuel tanks. And then I had to go back out because I flipped the damn truck. And um, I had to and I ended up having to bring a scout vehicle out there because I had a lot of the Scout fuel trailers out there that I can't sell unless you have a Scout vehicle. And I dragged them as far as I could close to the, the trailer store there. But, yeah, you wish you could tr sell them in hard mode, I know, right? So I'm thinking, I'm like, I'm, I need, I have enough money now. I think I had like 150,000 now or 160,000 now saved up with all the trailers that I got rid of in Michigan. Um, and you know the couple, you know, couple last missions that we did in Wisconsin, you know, we, the money we made from them. That I really would like to buy another vehicle. And I think the next time I stream it, we're gonna go through the truck store there and see what, what kind of trucks we can get um, with what we have. I mean, my problem, I guess, I, I should probably figure out what map we're gonna move to next before I buy a truck because we might need a truck that's better suited for us for that state um so we buy a truck that actually works for us but we got so many new trucks that we've got we haven't even been able to use them i forget that last one we got was uh wasn't a fleet star it was um whatever we, we found it in wisconsin it looked like a really cool truck we just got to figure out something that we could use it with It didn't have a lot of power though, that's the only problem with it. And I don't know if it was I'm waiting for the 57X. When's that one coming out? Like so I was watching there's a video out there that says the 10 get the GMC all wheel drive upgrade. Yeah, I think I know we definitely need the upgrade for that one. Um but I was watching a video where it said the 10 best uh, military trucks to get in SnowRunner. 
It's in Lake Coved. You have to look in that. Um, but I think those were mods, the military trucks, and I just didn't, I haven't wanted to do any mods on the game yet. But man, those military trucks look really cool though. Like I'd almost just get one mod just so I can get one of the military trucks. RNG. Do you have them? Oh yeah. It man, they look cool. And I just leave them all like camel painted and everything man because they just they look pretty badass. It'd be nice to have a military truck. I'm just like so leery about going on with mods any right now because of you know we we've had issues in this game and in um, American Truck Simulator with you know using certain mods, you know, they don't like to work with other people. You know, I know that Rolling 3D9 mod that I have for um, ATS, that one doesn't like to be with other other mods too much. And so you have, you know, the game crashes a lot or you have other weird stuff that just happens. And I'm just like, that's why I try not to put too many mods. So, but it would be pretty neat to try some. I mean, I think it would just make it too easy, though, because some of the mods are, like, so overpowered that you're um you know it just makes everything too easy instead of you're getting stuck you're just rolling through everything it's really well balanced though yeah, i mean that's what it looked like on that video that i saw it was it looked pretty darn cool though i mean there's four of them four or five of them that they were showing rg or the rng mods you can go for it yeah, I'll definitely, I wouldn't mind taking a look for it. We might want to send, if you get a chance, just send me a, um, send me a, a message in Discord and just, just say RNG mods for SnowRunner. And then it'll remind me next time I go in, uh, in the game, I'll take a look for them because otherwise I'll forget once I end the stream here and then, and then I'll forget which, which one it is and, I can't remember. They they did name them in the video. They just didn't give a like a link or anything for which ones they were showing in the video. Let's get up here and get these other ones over here. Oh, that'd be cool. Thanks, I appreciate it, Brian. Yeah, because they I, mean, I really thought, man, them things look nice. I mean, I haven't seen that good quality mods in a while. When I saw that video, I was like, wow, that, looks, that really intrigued me to think about it more. Let's get this tree over here. Let's see the one with the drone. You know what? Here, let me do this. I can pull it up real quick. Because I did save it as a watch or on my you, on my thing there. I saved it as a, a YouTube, um, like watch later. Where is it? So it'd be, yeah, what right here? Best uh, military trucks in SnowRunner. Let me copy that, and then let me go into. Discord here, and I'll send it to you which one I was watching here. There. So that's the one I was, this, the video I sent you, Brian, is the one I, um, the one that I, I was watching. So I don't know if it had a drone in there or not. Um, I don't remember seeing a drone, per se, but I didn't. I mean, they could have been using the drone while they were doing I don't know. Take this tree right here while they're here. I saw Ben's review. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It doesn't, at least from what I'm looking at on the Discord, it doesn't look like it says Ben, but you might be right. Oh, you commented on this video too? Okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I have never really watched the, or looked at any of the comments in it, so I don't, I didn't look at any of that, but 
I just saw the video pop up on there on YouTube there. I'm like, oh, this looks pretty cool. I don't know if we should try getting that other glass tree there. Well, I can't remember how many trees we got in the bunch already. We're gonna need fuel here. We're already blinking on us. Maybe we'll get this one. I'll run it back out to the road there. We can get our fuel car over here and fuel this up real quick. Drive by the car. The guy is named Ben, and he is from the UK. If you um yeah, if you if you know that video or you see it, just shoot me the video. Because again, it's like one of the things like I'll. Uh, as we're talking about it, I, I, um, you know, I'll remember, but once I get off stream and I go to work and all that, I'll forget what, what, what we were talking about, which, which meme it is, or what, what the video is. We'll pull it up to the road here and we'll get ourselves some fuel here. Let's get her turned around. Let's jump out of here and we'll get our fuel. There's our jumping up button. Here we go. We got a fuel truck over here somewhere. So let's see our, our oh so why does it say crop type is we? Oh maybe we oh that's right. We we put barley in the other on the other map. So we're it's still growing it's saying so we still got a ways before this is done. I forgot what we switched back on to FDR's map here, so it's, we did weed on this map. Let's get our lights on. Let's go get our fuel up here. I gotta remember how we use this thing too, because I haven't used this in a while. Just gotta pull it up next to it somehow and then see if we can pull up here in the fleet car. I don't know if I just gotta jump out and jump into the other vehicle, I can't remember. Make a picture of the mods you have installed. We don't have any of them in your gameplay yet. Oh, okay, cool. I just, uh, thought it's R. Oh, so it did, yeah, it did fuel it up. So I must have hit the right button. I, remember, I can't remember which way it's the G. G that switches it from. Catch the volume. Okay. F. Oh, it was G. What is it to switch it from the truck or trailer? I just can't remember. I thought it was G. It wasn't that button. Looks like it's. Uh, well, it looks like we're in the car still. Jumped into the puncher. So you have a couple of them here. Okay. So this is the forestry. Yeah, we're still not filled. Let's see if I hit this button. No. G. Do we refuel again? Forestry. I'm not doing the right thing here. The 
It's been a while since we had a refill. Oh, there we go. So we must have not have been close enough to the fuel thing. So let's fuel it up. There we go. Nice. Now we're 100%. Alright, let's turn that off and let's jump back out and get our truck out of the way. I can't remember. I guess you need to have that fuel trailer there closer to the actual vehicle that you're running to refuel before it'll pop up there. Shut her down and everything turned off. Alright, let's get in there a bunch and then I'm gonna. I gotta go upstairs and get my coffee turned back on real quick and then we'll be back in business here. Probably not the safest thing to run underneath the blade like that, but what are they gonna do? Alright, let's get, we'll get our buncher right here. Let me go and get my coffee turned back on and be right back here. Maybe the other thing would be nice if we had, if we had, uh, if I had my computer upstairs, I'm going to have to keep going up and down the stairs here to get our coffee turned back on. I think what we'll do, we got about another hour left. We'll get these few trees cut down right to the left here. And then we're going to start processing because we need to get some of this process. We got a lot of trees in the ground here. Let's see. Makes it a little difficult. Like, I used to be able to. There we go. Feel like that on the ground. At least get rid of some of the bushes in the front of us so we can see where we're going here. Let's get this tree. And there's a couple more right here. Uh oh. Hope we didn't get that one. Get it? Okay. 12-12 for the ATS Montana event. Time for some snow runner now. Yeah, I haven't gotten Montana yet. Um, how much was Montana? And actually, so I didn't even look it up yet. Although I wanted to go back into Colorado. I think it's Colorado or Wyoming. One of them. Whatever the last map was. Because they edit, you know, I, I still have some roads on there I gotta get done, but I'm at, I'm at like 80% now on my map because of Colorado. And I really want to get my map back up to 100% before I got, you know, where to get to Montana. We're gonna have to drive these in real quick because. Colorado was the last one, yeah, so that's where I'm still at. I got Colorado plus whatever new roads they've added, and I, I know they added some in California, and they've added some in, um, in, in some of the other areas when they did some of these other updates, and I never got, I never finished getting those driven on yet. But yeah, that's what I was working on when I was had my broken ankle, is I 
I managed to get my map up to 100% before like two upgrades ago. And now it's back down to 80%, 80 some percent because of Colorado and because of whatever other roads they added. The 100% would be difficult. The, if the rework, Cal, yeah, the rework in California is where I, I had and the roads added on and stuff. And it pissed me off because, like I said, I worked harder before while I was on my, with my ankle being broken there before I went back to work. Just getting all them roads all up, you know, finished up and got, you know, to 100% again. And that's why, like, when you say you 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 go and, and you start it back over on Snow I man, I would be pissed if I had to start back over. I mean, I, I would be fine if I finish all of Snow Runner on regular mode and then redo it again. But not like, oh man, let's see, push that one over on the road. Um, but not if I got as far as I've gotten so far and then I had to redo it again, I'd be mad. Let's turn it that way. I know there's one other tree that's stuffed over here. Let's get that tree out of our way so then we get this whole little area cut out. But yeah, you might, I would, there's been a couple times where you're back to like 70%. Um, when when I had a mod on there, and then it, what happened was when I always had the problem is when it was in beta, and I would try and play in beta with a company that I work in, and then go back out of beta, it would always screw up the save, and I'm like, I'm not doing beta anymore because I'm tired of, of having issues with the save and I know you can take and copy your save and then revert back to it but I'm just I don't want to do it I don't want to do any of that crap anymore so I just don't play in beta at all and I was going to try and do some trucking you know last couple of months here when we had before it was when it was out of you know an update or whatever and just never got around to it we were so worried about I'm not worried but I was so working on snow runner there that just didn't feel like um, updating everything and plus I use Truckee app um, that's how I was able to get to 100% because I would just be able to program my own loads so I would just go from two different cities and I just keep going back and forth to all the different buildings and I know you could just drive into the building and then it turns yellow but I, I actually drove loads to each and every building that I have on my map. There might be a couple that I just a accidentally drove into and I forgot about and didn't actually put a load into there, but I've driven to every load, every every building that I have on my map that's, you know, been highlighted. I didn't kind of just, I know some people just would drive into it and turn it yellow and then they call it good, but I, physically drove a load to every everyone, every place. Okay, we'll get these three here. And then we're gonna start processing some of this. I think I messed up here. I can't remember if I closed the one or not. Right, there we go. So you got the two claws. One holds onto it while you're getting the next tree. And I can't remember if I closed the, if I had to open the top one or the bottom one. So I was afraid I was going to lose the tree again. Here and see what we got cut here. We got got this all cut out. I mean, I guess I could cut a few more and put a few more going this way, but we got a lot of a lot of trees cut down right here. Could start just processing them. I mean, we got these few that are right here that would probably be good if we got them out of our way, but that'd be about it here, and then we'll get all start processing. Then we got a few things done today. 
hoping all the folks that are working here decide to show up today because I'm getting tired of helping every day. We've had like three or four call-ins every day for the last probably about four weeks. Some of them are repeat people. They just keep calling in sick for some reason. So when they call in sick, then everybody else has to help out because we're short as it is. And then when you have people calling sick, now you got routes that are just sitting there. So they split up all of that person's route onto your route. And then it makes for a longer day. And that's why I don't mind helping, but I get frustrated helping because you don't know which way you're supposed to go into the business. You don't know where the can's at. You don't know anything about that area. And it's like, I, don't, I get frustrated easy with that kind of stuff. I just want to go to work and do my job and go home. And I'm not there to save the company. Let's see if we can get these few in here. I'm not, a, I'm not a, against helping, I just don't like helping. You do a short trip. Um, yeah, so like what I'll, if you're talking about ATS, yeah, I'll just, what I do is I just go, if there's like two cities that are nearby each other, I'll just program loads back and forth to each of the different buildings in them cities and then just keep going back and forth in them. That's that one. If you're talking about my regular work, um, no, they would shoot those, send me to the whole other area, like freaking 20 miles away to go pick up 10 stops. It'll take me, it'll take me an hour and a half just to do them 10 stops before, versus somebody that's right next door to that route. That's what the pain about it is. And because I get done so early because I, I don't screw around when I'm at work, I'm just there, I wanna get home and get back, you know, get my work done and go home. I'm done pretty much early, the earliest out of all of them, and then so I get stuck to having help every day. Versus the other guys that are sitting around all day, they barely have to do anything because they're screwing around. Yeah, like those, I mean, 10 stops. I mean, with 10 stops, Ten stops can be like you know it may be 20 miles away to get them 10 stops now you got to go back to you know emptying the truck and everything and like literally the one one day they sent me two stops and it took me two hours to do them two stops because where those stops were were so far from where I was at and then by the time I got there you got to find the stop you know it's, you got to everything's on GPS and a map and a tablet it does help at least get us to that area um, no, I don't do semi. I'm, I'm on just like a, like a, well, it's just a, you know, well, it's, um, it's a front end garbage truck. So basically, I go behind businesses, pick up the dumpsters behind businesses, and that, um, it's a class B with air brakes. But it, I think the truck is like 30 some feet long, 40 foot long, something like that. Yeah, they sent me. Yeah, it's not. It's not bad. It's just you know the truck is thirteen six high, um, forty thousand pounds empty. You know, so when you're driving around with like another twenty or thirty thousand pounds of trash on you, I mean the thing's pretty heavy. And to drive to get two stops and it takes me two hours to do. You know, go get the stops, find the stops. Now I got to figure out how to get back to where I go to empty the truck because a lot of times it's in the areas I don't even know where I'm at. So now I have to GPS where I'm at to where I got to empty the truck at to just to get back uh, back to where you know to be able to get it home. Yeah, that was a pain that day. I was so mad. Like two stops that really cost you know cost them a lot of money for that. And it wasn't like I was trying to take that long. It just took that long. You have a buddy in South Africa that does trash too? Oh, cool. Let's see if we can get this picked up and put in our pile here. If thing jumps around on us, we're leaving it. I just don't mind. It's jumping like this. 
I mean, it could be because there's an update to this map, but the update was only for, mostly I thought was for equipment and stuff. Not for, like, the trees. I think, well, I think they did add some weight on the trees. I can't remember, though. And I just didn't want to update the map because I don't want to lose the progress I have. He couldn't tell me whether or not for sure I would lose all the trees I've had cut down here. And I'm like, just kind of the same as, like, Snow Runner or ATS. Like, I can't stand losing and having to start all the way back to brand new, you know? Especially when we got so much cut down on this map. I think we're gonna we're gonna stop cutting down trees for now. Set this thing down, and we'll get into our we'll get into our uh, processor here and get some processed. It's like I like doing what I'm doing. I mean, it's the hours because you know I start at like two in the morning but I mean I've been doing it for since 94 um, so we're kind of used to it I wouldn't mind getting into a job where I can just go to work be done and what do we want to cut these at? Nine, ten meters. I think we're gonna do tens. It's been a while since we cut, so I don't know. What, I can't remember what is good on the truck or truck or trailers. Make it a little closer, though. cab at least but you can't hear I, I can hear the cutting a little bit so I don't know if it's different for you guys again this would be helpful if I switched over into what you guys hear and to hear well, I probably should do that I thought the only problem was is that I was not able to like I was hearing my voice twice so even though I have I'll turn my voice. Nope. You can't hear it. Um, I had my headphones turned off. Let me see. There's some other setting on here. But if I turn, yeah. See, like if I turn my headphone down then I can't hear my I can't hear the game sounds either and it just is a little annoying when you hear your voice twice at least then I can hear the game sounds through how you guys hear it and see if there's something I can adjust to yeah see when I when I Alt tab out of the game to go into the head, um, the microphone settings is when you can't hear the game sounds. That's why, um, like in Farm Simulator, I had it in windowed mode, and then this way, when I click into the software for the microphone, it actually turns it off. It it keeps the game sounds on. It's like I should probably, I should, maybe for next time I'll switch it to windowed mode just so I can be able to do it, go out of the game without losing the game sound. Because I, I don't hear anybody else having that problem. When, they, when they're switching on something else on, on their stream, it, you still hear the game sounds. And I mean, granted, some of them are using two PCs to stream, so that does make a difference. And I only have the one. 
Let's see, like I can't hear the cutting. And I'm listening as the stream hears it. So let me tab out and let me bring up the game sounds a little bit more. And granted, the processor doesn't have many sounds for inside the cab. But you should still be able to hear the cutting, although it is raining, so that makes a difference too. Like, I could barely hear the cutting of the tree. And I have the settings in the game for vehicle sounds turned up. That's the tricky part of all this. Getting all these sounds right. I should see if I can turn off the rain. I'm pretty sure you can. Or I could possibly have the sounds for environment turned way up and the game, the, let's see, the environment sounds are at 60, but the vehicle sounds are at 80. Let's turn it up to 90 and turn this down a little bit. Sounds a little better. So I like hearing the count, the cutting of the tree and everything. This is twisting on us. It's like stuck in the tree. Glitching in the tree or something. See, it just still doesn't even help. I can't hear. I can hear. Slightly about when it's cutting it, it should be louder. Let's try and turn it up just a titch more. Again, I don't think, I don't know if it's because of the rain, too. It's a little bit better, but... It still feel it's pretty quiet as far as hearing the processor. I think if there's something else that should change. Because right now I'm listening to how you guys hear it. And it still sounds really low. Like you can hear the rain pretty good. But not everything else. There's one other thing. Let me check one other thing on here. If I go into the computer, 
I'm going to the settings and then go into sound. Let me just make sure that the sound for this gain is actually turned all the way up. So it says it's at 100%. The master volume is only at 32. Wonder if that makes it a little bit better here. So you got the master volume where you got individual sounds for each of the games too. Let's see if that helps at all. And I can hear the sounds of the saw a little bit better. Does it seem like um, that my voice is too high now? You hear more of the rain. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing too. I mean, I can hear like the click when the rollers come all the way out a little bit more. So this is what I was having some issues with on Saturday is that you have the master sound for the computer. Then you got individual sounds for each of the apps that are running on your computer. Then you got the sounds in the microphone and different sliders for each of those, like the radio or not the radio, uh, um, the, either the game or music or whatever else that's playing right now. And I know they said to keep everything at 100% on your computer and then adjust it through the microphone as far as the volumes. And I thought we had it all done, but then we did have a Windows update again. And I know a lot of people are having issues with the Windows update because they're changing all their sounds. I've seen two different streamers have the same issue in the last day. I can hear the saw a little bit better now, but I think I might need to cheat. I might have to go back through and like the master volume for the computer needs to be probably turned up and then readjust all the levels for everything else again. I'm, the way I'm listening to it is what you guys hear also. The only problem I'm getting is the echo in my voice because and it's a, a bit annoying, but I'm trying to see if I could adjust the sounds of the game while I'm doing this, and then I'll switch back over the way I hear it, and then I'll hear the echo. It's been raining quite a bit here so far. Let's see. Environment, let's turn down that more. Let's turn it down to 30 and see if that does any better. I mean, to me, it don't sound like it changed anyway. I can hear the saw a little bit better. Usually it doesn't rain this long. We've already been on here. Yeah, it's been about an hour. How long has it been? Yeah, an hour and 52 minutes, and it's been raining pretty much the whole time.
I mean, I guess our crop needs it, but... Technically, we probably shouldn't be working in when it's thunderstorming, but... It is a game. saw a little bit better now. I still seem to think that it needs to be up a little higher. Let's try that. Let's see if we can move up the vehicle sounds to 100. I mean, to me, that's what the more realistic part of it is hearing the sounds of the saw and everything. It's a little bit better, I think. adjustments and all this stuff here get them all dialed in but then the problem is every game's different so yeah adjust the sound for that Just out of our reach. No, we got it. Maybe. No, we just barely had it. to move up here to get the last tree there. Driving over all our trees here. Let's see what we have in this way a little bit more. Got a couple rogue trees here. I think we're driving again with them. Let's 
seems a little bit better with the saw. At least we hear a little bit better. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go back through just the main volume for the computer and the microphone and then readjust all these sounds for the game because I think it's just a little the main volume is too low and but if I change that then everything's gonna be too high I don't, I don't remember setting it at 30 percent I thought it was closer to 75 last time so I don't know if it got changed when we were when we had the Windows update or not. Because that's, that's the same problem everybody else was having. It was changing all their game sounds, their master sound, everything. I hate that when it drags another tree with us like that. Because I'm making a mess. sure we're not running over our trees as we go into the next pile here. too far. Are you playing Snow Runner right now, uh, Brian? Or are you working? There you are. Okay, cool. Kind of messing up our pile here. You work tomorrow night? Okay. Let's 
So it's kind of your like your day off. Do you get like what Sundays off? Do you, you get Saturday Sundays off, or you work weird days on and off? See, that's why I, the only one thing I do like about Atlanta, like we pretty much work Monday through Friday. We can work Saturdays if we want, but I've done Saturdays for so many years I don't do Saturdays anymore. The only time I work Saturdays is if we have a holiday and day off during the week we have to work Saturday then. But as long as the holiday is early in the week, I might be able to get caught up before Saturday. And not have to work it, but it all depends on what day the holiday falls on. Or Fridays or Saturday, it depends. Yeah, I see what you're saying. At least the game sounds, I think it's, it's a little bit better. I can hear the saw better now. Even with the rain going on. adjust the main volume on the computer and then readjust all the sounds, I think it'll be better now. This is only like the second day of having this microphone working, so we're still trying to adjust everything. I thought we had it a lot better than what it was this, since we started here. But I think that update did something, because I was not doing the update until... I think I did the update last night, and that's when I, you know, I noticed just today that the master volume for the microphone on the computer was at 30%. I know it was at 75 or something like that before, because we've been messing with it for the last couple of days trying to get this microphone working as best as we can. In anticipated issues with the sound because of the update. Can't stand Windows updates. Just barely grabbed that tree. some more piles on the other side here that we can process. It's weird that it's been raining the whole entire time that we've been streaming today, though. It usually does not rain this much. I remember.
seems like we haven't lost our ability to cross these trees. It's been such a while we've done any uh, logging here. I'm mowing through these pretty quick. See if we can set them down in our other pile. We got one pile instead of two. It's usually my goal. Let's switch this again. Hang on. Is to um have trees on one side of the area and then the other side I have the same trees pointing the same way and this way when we process them we put them all in one pile but the last pile we had a little bit too far of a distance there so this way when we come to pick them up at the truck and everything we have we can kind of just go down in a row here and, and get all the trees at once instead of keeping readjusting the truck too much. Of course we keep picking up other trees here which is kind of making it difficult because everything's getting all messed up here. Let's see if we can move this tree back over here. See where it's at. It's getting caught up in the other trees, that's why. I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do if I go when I go back in a snow runner. I might have to go to Maine now and get that other truck. But I was gonna try and finish up Alaska because I was at 40 some percent in Alaska. Although I do gotta get a few more things done in Wisconsin. Because for some reason, even though we got all the missions done, we're only at 
70 some percent or 80 some percent so i'm guessing there's still a bunch of tasks somewhere let alone the careful on main but if i go on main it'll be just a scout um we'll probably take our yar with us or we got now we got a hummer so we take the hummer too but i don't know what upgrades or anything i got with the hummer we just got that one in wisconsin we got some with some good tires on that or not. We haven't I haven't used that scout yet. But I was thinking about at least trying to if we could scout out that map because I don't think I've been in that in the main yet. As far as I remember, but I could be wrong. I have to wait until we got in there to see if we actually even scouted anything in there or not. Better get the proper truck to go get recovered, that logging truck. Yeah, definitely have to do that. It's a logging tractor. It sounds interesting too, I've never seen it yet. Just nobody I watched that streams or I haven't seen anybody use it unless I just didn't do it. Maybe I've seen it and didn't recognize that I already saw the truck, but it sounds pretty cool though. Although I don't know what, I'd have to look on Alaska and Wisconsin to see how much more logging is left, because I thought I did all the logging already. I could be wrong though. I would say I have something still left because I'm only at 80 some percent. I know it's not a mission because I did all the missions. The only thing I can think of that I haven't done is all the time, uh, what do you call it? The, Contest. I didn't do any of the contests. Got it all messed up in here now. It's unbranded John Deere. Yeah, you know, I, I found a, um, a forklift that we can use. I think it was in Wisconsin. I don't know how to really use a damn thing. I tried looking up a video of it and... So it's a 8x8, it has its own logging crane and medium, and a medium or small logging attachment, the JD, JCB, huh, yeah that definitely sounds interesting, that's for sure, we gotta get this tree out of the way, I hope we can grab it, and get this one, this doesn't look like we're in the process it properly here. Let's see if we back up a titch here. Get this one on top first and then we'll get the other one. I think one of our trees got dragged here and put it all sideways on us. I wish I could remember what vehicle it is that we bought. One of the person, one of the people in the chat there was the one that told me about this vehicle. 
we were in Wisconsin, we kept flipping the medium lugs, going to this one last mission, and they told me to buy something, and it was like a, I thought it had eight or ten wheels on it, and you are able to put only a few different things on it, and one of them was the medium log attachment, and that thing worked perfect to get up to that last uh, mission that we were trying to get the medium logs to. I just can't remember what the vehicle name was. But I know it cost like a hundred and some thousand for the vehicle. It looked kind of like a bandit or something similar to that, you know? It's already 12.15? Holy crap. We'll get a few more minutes. We'll uh, try and see if we can get the rest of these trees cut real quick. And time flies in this game. We got one more pile up here, and then we have this whole area processed. And we still got some more, I think, on the other side there, don't we? Yeah, we got those all, all those trees still to process tomorrow. So we got a pretty decent amount done. We might be able to get these processed really quick because they're not. It looks like there's only a few in here. for today.
got that done now. Let's see. We'll just move the processor over to where we gotta go to our next section over here to process these trees tomorrow and then be all set here. That's the name. Is that what you're talking about? About that truck that I got? I can't remember what the name was in it. Yeah, I'd have to go into the game and, and see what it was. Um, I just cannot remember it offhand. If I get a chance to, when I get home, I'll jump in the game and see what it was that w the one truck that we bought but it was like a it was an 8x8 or 10x8 or I don't know what the hell it was but it was like a like a bandit looking truck it had a um, a pretty low front end it looked like a like your uh, um, cab over truck kind of front end like, like the bandit has um, but it had like you know 10 or I don't know, like 10 or 8 wheels on it, and two, the, it had twin steers in the front and uh, steering tires in the back also, I believe. And that vehicle was one we used for the medium logs. It seemed to handle pretty good. It didn't tip over very easy at all, so. But, all right, well, I guess that'll be it for today. We've got quite a few set up and everything. Yeah, it's, it might have been an Azoth or something. Yeah, something like that. It, was, it had a low, a low cat, a low front end to it. That's for sure. It didn't move very fast either, but it was pretty good. All right. Well, we got some stuff fixed on it today. I got got some trees cut down. We got some process. We got a few more to process for tomorrow, and then. Get, start getting them picked up and either put in one big area so we can get them all loaded up on the trucks um, pretty quickly or we're going to um, just start taking them to the sawmill and getting them um, sold and get some money but that'll be it for us for today means to get a few of the sounds all fixed up and working a little bit better and we'll see if we can keep adjusting on them and get them a little bit better tomorrow but I um, hope everybody has a good night and...